get to Rip Fist again with the Be a Hero series for the Extra Life charity, which if you don't know what Extra Life is, it is the video game, YouTube, Twitch stream, basically all around nerd department of Children's Medical Network Hospitals. And if you don't know what Children's Medical Network Hospital is, hospitals, pardon me, they are a children's charity, as is obvious by the name, that helps children with chronic illnesses and their family sort of for medical expenses such as traveling, um, sometime, well, often enough treatment, excuse me, and it goes beyond that, and, well, and also medical equipment, but it goes beyond that. They also help get medical equipment for the hospitals themselves that they're housed in or within their region. For example, I am supporting Cox Health at I'm not supporting Cox Health. I'm supporting Children's Medical Network Hospitals at Cox Health in Springfield, Missouri. And everything you donate to me will actually stay local to that area. To the to the area uh, of Springfield and surrounding. Excuse me, I just ate a bowl of cereal. Um, but, like, an example of hospital equipment provided is uh, uh, an Extra Life event at uh, Cox Hospital. They offered a tour of some of the pediatric uh, part of the hospital. And I went through that, and they have so much new equipment for for the premature babies, for, uh, well, the neonatal intensive care unit is what that is, the NICU, and the children's ICU, and just all sorts of cool stuff that if you donate to any Extra Life page, it supports that hospital and help those families get the stuff they need. Anyway, uh, this is actually the second recording I did of the episode. I had the first recording uploaded, but my microphone was muted, so there was no sound. <sighs> technology. But anyway, that appears to be fixed on my end, and there is a mysterious power drain coming from the from somewhere within the TARDIS. It's really cool. Abushki! What is that? What is that? Oh, running up the slide. Abushki! This is a message from the High Council of Gallifrey. Do you receive me? Uh, I'm here. Who is this? A talking painting? I'm here. Who is this? Good! We don't have much time! Gallifrey has been lost, but there is still hope! Where are you? Trapped in a pocket dimension by the most evil and ruthless life forms to inhabit the cosmos! The Daleks! Daleks? Where are they now? What can I do? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. There is a key, a physical manifestation that can breach a hole between the walls of these two realities. This key has been split into six fragments and scattered across the known universe. Find these fragments, assemble them correctly, and the bridgehead between the universe and this tomb dimension will be forged. What does this key look like? The canvas this time fiction has been established upon is in fact the bedrock of the key. The key is a painting, its fragments torn to shreds of the can torn shreds of the canvas that will form the dimensional gateway, blah 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 words, I missed it. Where can I find the fragments? The fragment locations have been encoded to your primitive portable computer. Now listen here. Listen here. We're just doing a thing. We have been able to release the tether lock inhibiting your TARDIS to the solar system, but be wary. The universe is a dark and dangerous place, even more so without our presence to guide and nurture it. With your assistance, you can return us to the universe and bring stability back into balance. The signal fades. We will speak again. Good luck, champion of Gallifrey! Oh, whoosh! I'm gonna go ahead and pay canvas. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I'm sorry. Actually, I don't think I've ever showed off a gallery, and it's really cool because it has actually artwork from all different parts of the series. It's actually, let's sort of start at the beginning. One, you have the Seal of Rastalon right here with a functioning bench, which actually, uh, right back in here is where you find the Romana. Uh, okay, seriously, Catherine. Catherine, stop teleporting. Anyway. But you find the Romana Hypercube. Uh, Van Gogh's exploding TARDIS. 
the, uh, this is a fake Mona Lisa painting. Madame de Pompadour. Angel Devil Eleven thing? I don't know. I don't know what the hell that concept was. Uh, I can't remember what episode this is from, but I know it. The one fifth Doctor episode. And the portrait of Perry. No, that's not Perry, that's Ace. Duh. Anyway. We have a planet to save! I'm going to actually go to my bedroom first because this will require something. Holy crap, I blinked. Let's see, no, not that way, not that way. That way! You can always tell by the little blue hue. And the whales. I like whales. Ooh, piece of candy. Ping! Supercomputer Matrix, just sleep for an hour. You find a crumpled note in your pocket. What could it be? Actually, this is integral and only happens after this quest, which is titled Unto the Future, is triggered. Is Unto the Future. No, it's Unto the Past. The hypermarket is looking to shift some, shift some gear. Soul 3, free side after dark. Well, hot diggity dog, let's make some illegal trade deals, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, this guy has a piece of the fragment. Oh, look, it's a person. Hi, piece of candy. I would read it all, but there's so much there. There's so much here that I just won't. And plus, I've already done everything, so I'm going to skip the tutorial. Now. I don't know why I keep singing that. Okay, Gecko, you're gonna you're gonna have to back up there, darling. You're gonna have to back up there you go. Uh I did the lockdown mechanism, didn't I? Nope. This is going smashingly. Oh, uh, let's see now. F for Freeside. There's three landing locations in Freeside. The first one doesn't have a number, but the other two are numbered. You just sort of have to memorize which one's which. And they're all not very far from each other. In fact, you can walk from one to the other. Okay, so, oh god, I love that they use the sounds from the movies for this console, and not just one sound for all of them. Oh, I don't know why that makes me so happy. Atomic Accelerator! Oh, that's the helmet. That's not the... That's not those things. Oh, Bushki. And that's those things. Incoming ship. Mother of God. Uh, let's... Let's scan them. See what they are. Gecko, get out of the way. No, I didn't want to open the TARDIS toolkit. I wanted to do deep scan. Oh, great. It's the angry tin cans. Yes, yes, lovely. Oh, my goodness. Shields by 200%. But that usually takes a while. You managed to shoot the TARDIS straight up, erupting through part of the attacking ship's hull and causing 82.5 damage to some of their critical systems. Your own TARDIS's shield oscillators have absorbed the blow, reducing them by 33%. Well, that was lucky timing. Come on. Oh, yes, that was a really quick battle. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're not getting anything, so we should be landing. Artron. Power. It's Artron. Okay. 
percent fuel will probably need to refuel soon. Total power available, 51%. Just really, which does is good. Yeah, you have to, like, stand up on the console for this one. Okay, shield oscillator, oscillator's at 76. That's good. Now, the shield oscillator should regenerate unless I don't have the things primed. Subsystem. Uh, defense. Shield oscillators. Those are engaged. So the shields should slowly regenerate. What time is it? It's perfect time, actually. Okie dokie dokie day. Come on, Fallout, do your thing. Load there, baby. 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 You're an ass. I don't know why I felt like doing that. Look at this. Look at this Castiel demon-eyed alien dude. With your stupid ass fedora. I can smell the Artron residue off you from 12 parsecs away. The hypermarket's selling. You buy it? I'm really hyper. Oh my goodness. Caffeine. Cybermarket. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. What are you selling? Actually, give me a second. We're going to cheat. Oh. Helps to actually enter the item code. One, two, three, four, five, six, F. Money! I'm selling hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades, kid. <laughs> Only one person. You can only sell one more thing. Are you short? I feel like you're shorter than me. Oh, I forgot to lock the TARDIS. Better run! Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast and depressing. Alright, and we're back. Now I need to go to a console scanner. Not a console scanner. Those are on the... I'm on the right floor for this. Now, basically, I need to put everything into one of these scanners for... All, I need to put all the schematics into those so they'll actually show up, which... What do I need to make the Alpha Mason Blaster, even though it's not exactly the best in terms of damage? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! Damage per second, 25,000 with a damage of 1. Okay then. Okie dokie then! Let's see if all of these... You literally have to do this to get all of the schematics into the matrix. So you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I know that. I know what the coordinates in the uh, Tremulus 3 galaxy is for Cyber Station Zero. And actually, that's probably where I'm going to end the episode. This episode, because. Going through the station itself is a lengthy process. So we're just gonna head on over to Tremulus 3. Back to coordinates entered. Elmic. Max Vorp. Lockdown. Handbrake. Crazy train. 
da, 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 da. I'm gonna enable hats because I don't feel like. Sp well, I'm gonna disable it. Screw it. We get another space battle. We get another space battle. Right, K9. Okay, we have good shield integrity. Actually, we have really good shield integrity. It's over 100%. It's over 9,000. I am Time Lord Man. Time Lord Cans. Da, 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 da. Zigzag. This being one of the quests to save Gallifrey unto the past, it uh, it's one of the last ones. So, I'm not really sh that. There, there's one more quest after this that I know of, I'm pretty sure, but... I don't want to... I, I know there is a Trenzalor quest after this, and actually that one's pretty... pretty saddening. By the way, you're gonna hear some thunks if the game audio is coming through alright. Well, I'm not even hearing them. We should be hearing something indicating that we're moving between the different points of the spatial grid. It should just be these little thunks. Okay, yeah, well, I'd actually like to know if we're in the spatial grid still, if we're moving. Yeah, by now I should have heard at least one thunk. Because they make these thunk. You know, kind of... Part of the noise the TARDIS makes when it lands, that's what it makes when you've moved between two points. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm in an infinite loop here. I, a f I had a feeling that's who it was. That was the Cyberman. Okay, and... Damage! only? I... It's probably best to attack if you want to get it over with quickly. However, I usually play it safe. Right up until now, because this means they're close to death. There's only one Cyberman on board. Yeah, I haven't heard anything indicating that we've moved between points. Yeah, we're trapped in an infinite loop. So what I'm gonna do here is... I'm gonna load... Uh... This save, and, and I mean, I know this was a very boring episode, but there's really not much else to do right now. And I've sort of hit my time limit. Oh god, not you again, lady. Now you're invisible. Uh... Okay, there we 
I go. But yeah, I, I'm going to just stop this recording here. And... I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna continue the next part because this... That glitch, I think, requires me absolutely restarting my game and I don't want to do a third recording because I'm very lazy. So... I do want to thank you all for watching... And I do honestly really appreciate it. Uh, and, and I'm sorry that this was such a boring episode in terms of not very much happened. It really is kind of a shame that that one glitch happened, but that's just part of the mod on its own. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. It, regardless if you liked it, hit the like button by all means. Uh, if you have any suggestions or something to say, leave a comment. Share it with your friends and family to let them all know about this and Extra Life. Maybe sign up for Extra Life yourself and start your own thing. Uh, and it's, it's really just a great charity, but check out the Extra Life link and all the others, but most importantly, Extra Life, in the description below, and have a good one.